You're currently witnessing an excellent moment. This means my box has arrived. Yeah. It's smaller than I was imagining. That's what she said. Whee! Yeah! Woo! Wow! But I guess I should also mention that there is a tank robot in the box, which I suppose I'm excited about as well. It was sent to me by DF Robot, which was very cool to do, so shout out to them. Cue the building montage, because I have big plans. All right, let's see, and what are these? Oh, God! I'm sure it'll come as a huge surprise that the guy that makes something different of all kinds every week that has guitars in the background of the footage also likes to make music. So it only makes sense that we do what anyone and everyone would expect out of a tank robot. We're gonna make it dance. That's right, today I'm making a tank robot dance because I don't want to and it's probably gonna do a better job anyway. But we're not just gonna make it dance randomly. This dinky little microphone is gonna be actually listening to the song and identifying the most prominent frequency for every given beat and make the robot do something that is specific to the note that correlates to that frequency. Basically, music note, make robot go wee. I also included some code for a proximity sensor to prevent it from bashing into walls during the dance party. At least until it's had a few and then all bets are off. But right now everything just feels magical because I've written all this code. But now I have to see if it works, and I'm about to become sad. Babe, it's working. It's alive! This is actually pretty sweet. And it's done. Night night. And none of my projects would be complete without duct tape. Perfect. And I'm not going too crazy with the setup here because if I screwed up in the code at all, I'm gonna have to disassemble the robot, and that would make me very sad. But for anyone that's ever coded anything ever, that's kind of inevitable. I held off on putting the wheel things on till now because I didn't want it to drive off early, but now it was time to let the tank be the free spirit of majestic dancing it was all along. Tanky. Now it's time to kill the lights and start the dance party. Code can only take us so far. What we need is ambiance. This is the robot's first attempt at dancing. Let's see if it works. <laughs> It did not. You wanna see my tiny brain problem? On. Yay. Oh boy, stop dancing. This time seemed promising, and then it spun in a circle indefinitely. All right. So, so I'm pretty sure what's happening is the tank robot makes enough noise that it's picking that up instead of the song. So I'm gonna move the microphone up and away from the wheels a little bit, and I'll turn up the song. Behold. <laughs> As usual, it looks incredible. And as it turns out, there is either one more problem or the tank robot just really likes spinning in circles. I took the microphone from the tank robot and put it on a simple Arduino setup to see if the microphone's working and it doesn't seem to be, so I think this thing is dead. I do have one more, so hopefully that's the issue and this will resolve it. All right, thank goodness. These nerd numbers mean that this microphone works, which means the tank is back online. Let's do it. This song's from an old album I wrote back in like high school, college that I'm just now finally willing into existence. And I realized that as a species, we have a collectively decreased attention span, so I'll only play through the first chorus, but if you happen to like the song, or just really like seeing the robot dance, I'll be posting the full video of it on another channel. I think this one's gonna work. You ready for it? Me neither, let's do it. Tank Robot has secured its place as a master of dance and can be used for something more dangerous in the future. Look forward to it. Crazy news! They made the like button free! You can just kinda click it and make YouTube happy. And if this video didn't make your eyes bleed, you can press the subscribe button and see more of my stuff every week. Alright, peace! <laughs>